Stephen. I'm 30 years old. I come from New Zealand. I'm a logistician. It's my first mission for Handicap International, and I'll be working in the Dadaab refugee camp at the north of Kenya. My responsibilities will be as a logistician to help organise transport, help organise purchases, and help organise um, construction of all of our shelter that we need to run our programs in. I'm going to be staying in that app for six months. I'm expecting to be tested right to the limit and I think there will be physical um, sacrifices and real mental challenges. I've settled in in Dadaab, met my colleagues and got some first impressions. Um, there's a motivated group of people and we've got a lot to do. I'll be happy with the finish. Just make sure the door can close and a uh, small lock. Like a little piece of wood or something. Okay. Perfect. There are really long working hours on any humanitarian mission, and this is the start. Now, I don't know when uh, when the stress will um, will shut down, but it probably won't. I've had some quiet moments with my team driving from the base to the camp, and it's a good way to meet people as well and bond on a more human human level, discuss their lives. My first impressions regarding the camps is that there are people who are extremely vulnerable and extremely poor. People are relying entirely or nearly entirely on these um, distributions run by different humanitarian agencies. My, my impressions, my impressions after two weeks are that the the work that Handicap International does is really important, and and we're we're dealing with lots of lots of people in need. I'm every day running into barriers though to get our jobs done. So I know that the next six months are not going to be easy. That despite the fact we're working seven days a week, from the drivers to the accountant. We're all working a lot. We eat together and live together. I think the morale is still pretty high and I really hope that continues. We're doing good work and um, I think we're providing a good benefits for our, our beneficiaries. Up until now I'm happy with what I've achieved. We've got a good logistic team and the staff I work with are all really keen really motivated. Um, I see. Um, I see. Daily salary, so 500 times 4. To remember we haven't finished the fence at EFO 3 because that's another job for another group. Yeah. With long, eh? Yeah. And um, so far we've put up 23 accommodation tents and two uh, office tents. They'll be used for moving our uh, DVFP team closer to their work site so they don't need to travel by vehicle every day. The, the work's gone well and the staff will be in place really soon. Goodbye from Dadab and the refugee camps in northern Kenya. And um, I'm enjoying myself and hope to see you all again. <laughs>